Today I'm speaking with Andreas Ritter, who is a captain at Lufthansa. He's a 340 captain and he's the EFB administrator at the airline. Uh, captain Ritter, perhaps you can start off by telling uh, us what exactly is the, is the EFB? The EFB, the electronic flight bag, is the PC of the pilot. It's a tool which replaced traditional tools, which were all paper-based, for strategic information gathering. For example, we had paper manuals, we had many tables for performance calculations, and we had paper charts. And all these paper-based um, tools are now replaced by electronic flight bag applications. One of the things that you've mentioned in an earlier discussion you had now was the fact that at your airline, like all airlines, pilots have to take on a lot of paper before they depart for a trip. One of the things that I found so interesting is you mentioned that having an EFB, which is updatable, so to speak, really enhances the pilot's performance of efficiency, so to speak, for a flight. Well, currently uh, our EFB is updated before the flight, just before the flight, which means it's quite up to date. But during the flight, we have no updates because currently there is no connectivity. And now, after... Um, equipping all our aircraft with class 2 electronic flight bags, the next bold step is to add connectivity to these electronic flight bags. Now, there are some airlines obviously that don't have the EFB, and I've heard interesting stories about how long it takes a pilot to program the flight management system manually compared to plugging in the, uh, you know, the EFB. What is your experience in terms of time saving for a crew? The electronic flight bag performance calculations are uh, a lot quicker than performance, based, uh, per performance calculations based on paper. And they are a lot safer because you have less chance to perform errors. But of course you need to have cross checks. History has shown that there is a chance for entry errors and you need to cross check everything you do, which is the way we do it in aviation anyhow. So obviously the, the big thing here is, is um, connectivity, which really seems to enhance the power of the EFB. Perhaps you can just give us a quick thought on that. Well, um, the way we flew for the last 50 years is that before the flight, the pilot got a briefing package. The briefing package contained the operational flight plan, the weather information, no TAMs, uh, satellite pictures, uh, weather charts, and they were all very accurate at the time they were given to the pilot which was typically one or two hours before the flight. But after a 10 hour flight, they are at least 10 hours old. And the benefit, if you have an electronic flight bag added to a broad pipe, to a, to a, a connectivity on board, for example, like Lufthansa now introduces with Flynet, you have a chance to update satellite pictures, to update weather charts. And um, we believe this will give a safety benefit and um, also an economical benefit because we have the possibility to fly safer around storms uh, or more efficient from the step, uh, step climb or, um, or lateral point of view. One last question then. The next generation of airplanes is going to come with increasing this talk about ubiquitous connectivity and the ability to have real-time communications between the airline and the airline, airplane. How, how do you feel about that as a pilot? Do you think that that's a, a, a huge step forward? So, for example, integrated EFBs and all that sort of thing. Well, every new um, aircraft is exciting for a pilot. And integrating displays is, is fantastic because an integrated display has many advantages compared to a display you put uh, somewhere on the windowsill. But integrating the computer which drives the display has a lot of disadvantages because if you integrate it in a way that it becomes part of the aircraft type certificate, which is the way some airframers did with a class 3 EFB, then you stick it. It becomes very static. It becomes an expensive, expensive system, similar like the flight management system, and very hard to change, and uh, therefore it loses the connectivity to the ground, because the ground changes all the time. We have new networks, WiMAX, we have we have new systems, new operating systems, and if you stick the, act, the, the system to, um, uh, in the cockpit, 
you lose this connectivity. It's very similar to what happens in a car. If you have a navigation system built in, it's fantastic if the car is new, but if the car is 10 years old, it's a 10 year old navigation system. While in, in, a, in other um, cars, you might already have the third generation of, of a navigation system uh, with a lot more information. And uh, we don't want to lock our processes to the slow pace of integrated class 3 EFBs. And that is why Lufthansa has decided as a st strategy for the whole group to move towards class 2 EFB. Thank you so much, Captain. Welcome, Edison.